in this tutorial we are going to what is the ideal settings for your stream so we go to the settings and then we go to the stream so the stream area is where you can publish your stream but for instance we are using Facebook so we can click the custom streaming server so as you have seen we have a uh, pre-filled URL so let's remove this one so at first it is all blank now how how to have a stream so let's go to our Facebook page here I have already a, a prepared live producer so how do you obtain this you can click the Take this one, you create post, then there's an option here, click these three little dots, then you click live video. So when you click live video, apologies for that, when you click live video, you will move into the live producer. The live producer has all the settings that you need before you can uh, broadcast here. So you can add live title, we have mobile legends. So this video tutorial is for the mobile legends or you want to stream it on Facebook. So you have three settings. You have use stream key, use camera, use paired encoder, but let's use the use stream key. Then you have the option to uncheck or check, uncheck or check the stream key, but let's have that one. Or you want to use the stream one persistent stream key there. Now, we have the live stream set up. You just copy the URL and the key streams to the the broadcasting. So, click copy. Let's go on to the settings. You paste it in the URL, copy, and then paste it there. So, you have done. Now, you can go live, but before you go live, how about you have you want to add some delays so especially mobile legends you want to play delayed games for example to prevent what position you are in you will have that on the stream page or on the output page scroll down it's not here you let's go to the advanced then scroll down you have this stream delay I have my games streamed uh, delay in 30 seconds to prevent what position I am in or to prevent stream sniping which is a real deal issue but you can adjust this one stream delay 30 seconds when the 30 seconds is applied there and you click done you can when you click the go live option it you have a countdown for 30 seconds that is a stream delay so when the go live option is click already we go back to the live producer so the live producer is still showing waiting for live video it's because streamlabs obs is not yet transmitting the capture now we have the end stream button now let's go back to the facebook live as you can see it's still waiting for live video they're connecting live video you can click the event logs so clicking event logs live service receive so we receive the video signal that means the facebook thing or the live stream is already broadcasting so go back here you can click go live immediately you can click the event logs to see the report you can scroll up to see your live streaming so what i have here is 2 mbps because i'm using a 30 mbps a 720p 30 fps and then an audio uh, 160 kbps so when you click on the event logs you can see it here now what you have seen on the window is already the broadcast
this is the live version already so let's try the in-game so the in-game goes here right so it is already live but on the Facebook live option you need to wait approximately 30 seconds for this live to be applied so meaning you have plus 30 seconds running already so we have also the settings here I made it purposely display the CPU usage of FPS you have the missing frames you have and then the connection speed of the network so when you click on this graph you can actually add more frames you can just disable all of them you can just add all of them the purpose of this so that the purpose on displaying this for stats is that I can view the progress how much CPU has been used how much frames has been dropped and the, the connection speed so if it drops below that number then you have a problem of your connection so let's go back to our live producer as you have seen alright it is not yet displayed this thing it is not yet live it's not yet displayed here anyway we can wait so let's go back to the Streamlabs so I'm going to end the stream temporarily so that I can guide you to the settings on how did I get this video settings and the audio settings so for that one we we'll to end the stream because you cannot change uh, settings on the live no, when you are broadcasting live, you cannot change the settings here. So I'm going to end that one. You can discard immediately. You can click this button directly. Discard that one. So that you can access the settings. So click on this settings icon. Then you have the output. Now on the output, by default, it is 2500. I use 2000 for optimal, leaving another 1000 for my browsing, the streaming, and such. So the audio bitrate, I changed this to 160 so that at the audio is very clear. Then on the resolution, you click on video, I purposely using this one 1280 by 720 uh, resolution as my output. Now, if you cannot see the 1280 by 720 resolution, you can just type in manually the resolution. No. Uh, Streamlabs OBS will accept that one. Now, the base canvas resolution is my screen resolution, the 720 by 1080p.